one of the most prized and overfished bounties of the sea. Here bidders examine tuna in a Tokyo fish market. But better management of fishing means things are actually looking up for four tuna species that had been heading towards extinction. Albacore, yellowfin and Atlantic bluefin move from endangered to least concern on the IUCN's red list. Southern bluefin moves from critically endangered to endangered. That really is exciting news. It shows that uh, for marine species, if we really are work hard and work with, within the legal frameworks, work with the fisheries industries, we can achieve sustainable harvesting and make fishery a sustainable adventure. That's the good news. But for other marine animals, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature is less optimistic. It's especially concerned for rays and sharks. Overfishing, habitat degradation and climate change are taking a heavy toll on many species. There we find 37% of them are threatened with extinction. And the primary threat to sharks and rays is exploitation, overuse of, of the sharks. On land, too, humanity's impact on nature is threatening the survival of new species. The IUCN's Red List update moves the world's largest lizard, Komodo dragons, into the endangered category. Climate change means much of their habitat on an Indonesian island could soon be underwater. Come on, everybody. Let's get to work. The IUCN's World Conservation Congress is underway in Marseille, France. Actor Harrison Ford brought some star power. It's hard to read the headlines. Floods, fires, famines, plagues, and tell your children that everything is all right. It's not all right. And France's President Emmanuel Macron appealed to unity and human ingenuity. Combat. Je veux que nous le menions ensemble et je suis pour ma part I would like for us to fight this battle together, and for my part, I'm extraordinarily confident. The situation is serious, but our will is great. The capacity of the human species to innovate is enormous. Once more, we're reminded that it is humanity that's biodiversity's biggest threat. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.